Hey, what's good y'all? I'm Kippers and in this video I'm going to show you this budget-friendly setup for streaming your Xbox from a computer without a capture card. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, so let's start with the gear. Assuming you already have a laptop or PC with a monitor and a mobile device, this entire setup will cost $165 when it's not on sale. This monitor stand is made by Wally and they have a bunch of configurations to fit your needs. This one is the standard dual monitor mount and normally sells for $32, but it goes on sale pretty frequently. The link for this and other products and software featured in this video can be found in the description below. If you have a laptop, I recommend getting it off the desk and onto the monitor stand. For that, you're going to need a laptop Visa mount. This one's by Amazon Basics. Jumping over to your microphone, this might be the most important investment you make when you start streaming. This USB mic is made by Fine Fine. Yes, that's how you pronounce it. Your next step would be to an XLR mic, and you would need an audio interface for that as well. And then you're talking about two to three hundred dollars. Whatever mic you go with, you want to get it off your desk. This is the type of mic boom arm I recommend. You can get cheaper ones for around fifteen dollars, but the spring design on those are pretty janky. I actually got this one on sale for twenty dollars, so for five dollars more than the cheapo ones, this was an easy buy. All right, so this last one, I know it looks like a crewmate from Among Us, but this is for mounting your tablet. You don't necessarily need it, but it makes it look like it's floating, and I really like it. All right, so let's start getting your PC set up for streaming. You're going to need three apps. First, Open Broadcasting Software, or OBS. Second, the Xbox Companion app. And then lastly, to control your stream, we're going to download Touch Portal. Once you have these installed, let's start with connecting your Xbox to the PC. Microsoft has three different Xbox apps at this point, so make sure you're using the Xbox Companion app. Once you're logged in, look for the Xbox icon on the left that says Connection on Hover. If your Xbox is powered on and on the same network as your PC, you should be able to add it as a device by clicking Connect. Once connected, you can start streaming to your computer, and if you're using a controller paired directly with the Xbox, you'll get this message. You can also use a controller connected to your PC. Mouse to the top of the screen and you'll get options to minimize, exit full screen mode, and close the app. The other important option here is setting the streaming quality. By default, it is set to medium. I'm going to change it to very high. Capturing the Xbox app in OBS is as simple as adding a gaming capture source, set the mode to capture a specific window, and then select the Xbox companion app window and you're ready to start streaming. To simplify OBS scene switching, managing audio, and for automating pretty much anything, we're going to use a free alternative to the Elgato Stream Deck called Touch Portal. Touch Portal is free to use and works with Apple and Android devices. There is a pro upgrade that offers additional features for $13, but for starters, the free version is all you need. In the bottom left corner of the desktop app, you will see your PC's IP address and the application port that will be used to connect your mobile app to the PC. You can also use Touch Portal with the mobile device connected directly to your PC via USB. For Touch Portal to work with OBS, you will need to install the OBS WebSocket plugin and then click this little plug icon and connect to OBS. Let me know in the comments how this setup works for you. If you have questions or want to talk with me, feel free to join my Discord server. It's discord.gg kippers. And as always, GG's.